When the football season is over and you see the confetti in the air, nine times out of ten, you see teams where they end up losing players here and there. They choose to take their talents and want to go elsewhere. I mean, we see it all the time in the pros where you get a, a team that go out there and win or they might go deep into the playoffs or whatever have you, and their contracts might be up. But in college football, there is no contract. And we know that Jackson State had one hell of a run over the past two seasons in which they are back-to-back -back SWAC champions, and they got to the Celebration Bowl both times coming up empty-handed. Now, as things progressed, we saw a lot of players decide that they want to take their talents and go jump in the transfer portal, and that is fine. But you know what? Coach T.C. Taylor and his staff said, guess what? We got a trick for y'all. We got the athletes that's coming into this program, and they they coming in droves where they want to be a part of what's going on. They say guard the yard. Well, guess what? They got a big fella coming in there that can definitely guard the yard. We're going to talk about him right after this. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Tip toes down, but I'll tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's not for positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on in this thing and get straight to it. Because they're like, Coach, where you been, bro? You ain't gave us no content a couple of days. What you on, man? You on that crazy pack over there? No, nah, no, nah, guys. Hold on. Coach ain't on no crazy pack. Hey, I had to, I'm trying to get some things together here. Uh, I got a lot of different things that's going on right now, and I'm just trying to get stuff sorted so I make sure everything is in pocket. So when I bring you this content, I'm going to drop you this content so that you got everything that you need, and I can go ahead and hold you over to I can get the other content rolling out in a matter which I need to get that rolling out to you guys as well. Not only that, but we're celebrating three years of doing uh, HBCU sports, so salute on that. Uh, that's been one great, one heck of a ride, especially with a lot of you from my day ones that have been with me from the beginning when, you know, no one was really watching the channel at all. And I appreciate you guys for all of that. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Jackson State is doing something right now that has me really scratching my head like, wait a minute, what? What's what's the what's the what's the magic ingredient over there right now? Because the coaching staff understands daggone well that in order to get out there, and continue continue to be successful as they have been over the past two seasons, they got to have those trenches in place. Yes, you got to have a quarterback back there that can spin that ball, as well as running backs out there that can run the ball as well, and receivers that can catch. You got to have everything in place, but those main pieces. The trenches and that quarterback is something that they're going after right now because they did have some athletes that moved on. Shador Sanders going to uh, Colorado. You had a couple of defensive linemen. Uh, Big Country, I think he went to Tarleton. Um, I think he went to Tarleton, if I'm not mistaken. I could be incorrect. And you had a couple of other athletes that went to some other places as well. And then you had a lot of those athletes decided that they were going to stay right there in Jackson and make sure that they put on for the city the same way that they have been doing over the past couple of years. Well, you know what? I always say the trenches is the key and you can never have enough big fellas out there on the field playing because we already understand that when you're playing in them trenches, nine times out of 10, there's going to be injuries. So it's that next man up type mentality where you got to have that next man that's coming in. That's just as big and bad as that man that just went down, going to come in and give you that same output out there on the field and make sure things continue to keep running and clicking in the manner in which they were previously before that next man up happened. Well, guess what? In order for that to happen, you got to have some versatile athletes out there on the field. You hear me say versatile. That means the offensive and defensive linemen, they're vers versatile that as far as them being able to play all of the positions on either side of the ball. Or in some instances, you have some offensive linemen that are able to play on the defensive side of the ball as well. So that's a beautiful thing to have. But when you got a trifecta like this young man here, not only can he play on the offensive side of the ball, versatile positions on the offensive side, as well as the defensive side of the ball. But the young man is a long snapper as well. The young man had a couple of offers from multiple HBCUs, such as Miles College, Morehouse College, and Alabama State University. Jason King from Rufus King High School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, six foot four, 290 pounds, was out there playing on that offensive line, looking like a man amongst boys when it came to many of those plays that he had within his um, highlight reel. And I'm going to share a couple of those with you here in a second because I'm going to tell you right now, this young man, his lateral movement is something to pay close attention to. 
seeing him pull from left to right down that line of scrimmage and seal off those defenders, not to mention, there's one time where you watch this young man drop a big fella. He's pulling from right to left. You see him clock this kid where he drops him out there on the field and just, I mean, just go ahead and pancake him. You might as well go ahead and clean him up. Go and pour, pour the syrup on him and just get it on out the way right now because that's definitely a pancake right there for a young man just stand there and take that coming from that big fella coming down the line like that. And not only that, I mean, listen, when he hit this kid, I jumped out my chair and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wait a minute. This young man is aggressive as well as nasty. I like this. And seeing him cross block as well on the offensive line of scrimmage from the tackle position. You're watching this young man play multiple positions on the offensive line. He can play inside, inside at the guard position as well as the offensive tackle as well. Again, King's ability to, to get to the second level to block opposing team's defenders is, uh, is something to marvel at because you don't really see that too often. A lot of times you see a lot of these offensive linemen, they'll go ahead, they'll make contact, and they, they'll stick right there with that person that they made contact with and not, instead of trying to get to that second level to get that extra block that's going to help break that running back out for them to get additional yards down the field. So seeing him seeing him do that, that was one that was a beautiful thing to watch him do out there on the field. There's one thing that I got a request from the big fella, and it's this. I need for you to sink them hips a little bit more often as well as keep them hands inside. A couple of times you got them hands outside like you was hugging, and guess what? They're going to throw them flags on you here in the swag more often than you want to see. So definitely work on getting your hands inside, keeping your hands inside on that opposing defender that you're blocking and sink them hips and drive down the field, especially when he got you on those running plays. When you're up too high, you're going to make that contact with a guy that might be a little bit bigger than you or the same size that's been in that weight room getting to it. Guess what? It's going to be a stalemate nine times out of ten. That play that your offense is looking to run is going to get stopped for a loss. So all coach is saying is this. I like what I'm seeing with this young man that's coming into Jackson State. He's a great pickup for the team. And not only that, but seeing that they're – Adding more versatile offensive linemen out there on the team is another great thing to watch. And not only that, but like I said before, this young man can play on the defensive side of the ball as well at a nose guard. So just understand this. <clears throat> oh, and not let me forget, he's a long snapper as well. So understand, Coach T.C. Taylor and the coaching staff, they smacked another one out the park again. They are definitely swinging for the fences every time they bring athletes into the program. So congratulations to Jason King on choosing to, choosing to continue his collegiate football career with the Jack State Tigers football team. And definitely look forward to seeing this young man get out there and do some phenomenal things. But Coach going to go ahead and get up on out this thing. But until next time, be the one and lead.